Hi, my name is Alex, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook Pixel on your WordPress website. The Pixel will help you track visitors' visits and actions on your website. It also allows you to track conversion of your Facebook ads. If visitors arrive on your site in response to an ad, then you can say it was effective. So we'll start here on a Facebook page. We'll set up the Pixel and then go ahead and install a plugin on the WordPress site that will make use of it. Open this menu on the right and select Create Advert. This is a shortcut to access the Facebook Advert Manager. Depending on your Ad Manager setup, you can access a menu here at the top left, or failing that, you can just search for the Pixel options here. This part is pretty straightforward. Click Create, give your Pixel a name, and you're done. Before developers made plugins available, adding the pixel to a website was a complex process of adding scripts to the header section of your WordPress pages. Thankfully, there's a range of options now that can do it all for us. So I'm going to dismiss this dialog and go straight for my pixel ID, which is the key that whichever plugin you'll use will need. So now for the plugin. Let's head over to the dashboard section of our WordPress site select the plugin menu and click add new. Search for the pixel and from the results that are returned I'll choose this one called Pixel Cat which will do the job just fine. It's had quite a lot of installs and pretty good reviews. When it's installed I'll go ahead and enter setup and first off as I mentioned it requires the pixel ID. Let's switch back to Facebook, pick up that ID and paste it into the plugin. Now to add an event. What this plugin is doing is adding that pixel and some code into the header sections on my site for me. In this section of the plugin I can be more specific where it does that. The pro version will unlock even more features but for now I'm happy with the basics. I can select a specific page or pages and the event to trigger on within those pages. In my case, I'll choose View Content, but it could just as easily be Add to Cart or Complete Purchase. Click Save, and then we're done with Setup. It's good to remember that visiting the website from Facebook is not required for the pixel to track the visit. Let me show this by opening the site directly here from the dashboard. I'll navigate to this post with a camera Notice that the post ID is 223. Let's go back onto the Pixel dashboard in Facebook and see what it's picking up. So initially there's no events received, but after about 10 minutes the indicator changes to green and we get this data when we click View Details. And here on both Page View and Page Content Actions we see the website visit and also the post I clicked on is recorded. So that could be a perfect place to stop this demo. The install is complete and sending back data. To make this data really valuable, you can get Facebook to use it. There's loads of stuff you can do, and one neat trick is to create a custom Facebook advert audience based on the profiles of people visiting your website. Remember, Facebook knows who most of these people are, so it can create a profile to target similar people for your ads. Here's how. Save the pixel results as a custom audience. Then create an ad and in the settings select that audience name as the target for the ad. The rest of the setup is just normal Facebook ad setup. Once that's complete, you're good to go. And that's where we'll leave this Facebook Pixel video. Thanks very much for watching, and be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more.